Hey, good morning, guys. I want to give you an update on the telemedicine bill at um, our Tennessee State Legislature. Big news. Just got this email. It says, hi, you're receiving this message because you are a constituent or you have an existing relationship with Senator Farrell Hale. He is the swing vote on a conference committee today that is comprised of six legislators whom are assigned to negotiate and the differences in telehealth legislation. The House members want to guarantee telehealth payment parity while the Senate does not. If you could reach out to Senator Hale as soon as possible and encourage him to vote with the House members supporting payment parity, you could make a big difference in the future of telehealth for your colleagues and patients. This is an email that came to me from the Tennessee Medical Association. I had previously been in an uh, email conversation and reached out to uh, Senator Hale's um, administrative uh, liaison, and um, I'm aware that he is supporting the Senate bill at this time, but when you're talking about three senators and three House members debating this bill, it is super important if we want to see telemedicine continue to exist the way that we have enjoyed being able to serve our patients and communicate together, uh, your regular physician and, and, and you, then please contact um, Senator Hale. His office phone number is 615 615- 741-1999 and we'll put the email and contact information with this video. Um, just so you guys are aware, there's a few situations that I've experienced where telemedicine, if it doesn't continue the way it currently exists, we may not be able to continue to provide some of the, the care that we, we've seen. Um, one example, I've had, um, had a 10 care patient who they have some transportation issues. They weren't able to come in for a visit um, this was a kiddo who had a rash. I was able to communicate with him via telemedicine and with the history in the rash, able to diagnose poison ivy and effectively get it treated so they didn't have to wait for dad to get home from work and then go to the emergency room. Now, what does that mean for somebody with 10 care? That means you have access day and night to the primary care office. What does that mean to somebody who doesn't have 10 care? That means that your tax dollars aren't paying for exorbitant costs in the emergency room. There's a benefit for both via telemedicine. Um, second, um, I had a, a family contact me um, late on the weekend. Uh, a child had had some toe trauma, dropped the nozzle of a hose, garden hose on top of his toe and had a significant uh, injury. And via telemedicine could assess that the likelihood of him having a fracture was ridiculously low. And then also was able to talk them through how to relieve the pressure underneath the toenail where the blood was forming and creating a lot of discomfort. So they were able to, to do a process called trophication. I was able to talk them through it. Not everybody can do this, but they, they were able to. And this child was treated effectively, efficiently, and they did not have to go to the emergency room on the weekend. It did not have to pay those expenses. Now, if you have a high deductible insurance plan, you know the emergency room visits can be hundreds of dollars. So via telemedicine, which was um, routine office charge is what it was um, to me, that hundreds of dollars definitely decreased for that family. And um, that's something that may or may not continue if the Senate bill is, is passed on. So last reason I'll mention to you guys as far as House bill, um, 1699. Please call Senator Farrell Hill and ask him to support the House bill. Um, the reason is the parity between the um, office visits and telemedicine needs to stay the same is we have the ability to continue providing care. We had a family that was on vacation. I'd seen them a few days previously. The child had not improved, had gotten worse. And instead of going to an uh, unknown physician in a community they weren't familiar with, ER, urgent care, whatever the case is, they were able to call me, we were able to review the child's status, I was able to provide care for them. And um, that continuity of care is really hard to replicate when we don't have um, telemedicine. That's good for people 10 care, it's good for people with private insurance. So again, please contact Center Hale this morning, as soon as you see this video, um, and let him know that um, you would benefit from House Bill 1699. Thank you guys.